so let us just uh, go through examples on uh, the arithmetic and geometric progression so, uh, these are questions which we uh, have extracted from the past paper a geometric progressions come in paper 2 always the geometric progression question and then in paper 1 you have an arithmetic progression up to this point you are very well versed when it comes to geometric and uh, arithmetic progression if you've been following me this far so today we're just going to go through examples uh, lots of examples these uh, will help us to fully understand the lessons and then uh, we'll end uh, from here so what we have here is geometric progression uh, question this was like from the 2018 paper if I'm not mistaken GCE so it says in a geometric progression the third term is 2 over 2 2 over 9 and the fourth term is 2 over 27 find the first term and the common ratio to the sum of the first five terms of the progression three the sum to infinity all right great so we're going to find the first term and the common ratio so first of all um, we're going to collect our data before we, we talk about finding the first and then we're just going to uh, say data and then we, we're trying to, to, to collect our data here so we'll say um, what is the first term what do we have for the first term and what do we have for the um, for the common ratio so what we want is the first term but they've given us the question says in a geometric progression the third term is 2 over 9 and the fourth term is 2 over 27 so may I remind you again that before you solve, we solve this together you can pause it and solve it for yourself and then afterwards you play the video so you can uh, follow through so uh, the first term and the common ratio that's what we want to find so if in a geometric progression we have that any term the nth term is equals to uh, the first term multiplied by the common ratio to the power n minus 1 that is a geometric progression that is how it is so that's what we want to find so that is how it is so now remember they're saying that they've given us the first term uh, the, the the third term is 2 over 9 so Okay, so let's say if you want to find the first term, so the idea here is, is to find the third term, the expression for the third term and the expression for the fourth term, and then use these two uh, expressions to find the first, and the, uh, the, the first term and the common ratio. Okay, so the third term, if you want to find the third term, will be uh, t, uh, third term is equals to, the first term which is a of course we don't know it multiply by uh, the common ratio we don't know it to the power n minus 1 n is 3 because that is the third term we are looking at so 3 minus 1 this is going to give us uh, 3 is equal to a to the power 3 minus 1 that is 2 a to the power 2 all right so that is our equation number one okay that is for the third term the question number two will be find the uh the fourth term if you want to find the fourth term so the idea is to find the term separately and then use the equations to find your uh, the missing uh, variables or figures so what we want for the fourth term is we have t over we have the fourth term uh, it's fine we can find it by multiplying the first term to the power r which you don't know four minus one and then this gives us t to the power four which gives us a r what is four minus one is equals to three okay the great thing is that we know what this so um, th this is this is the second equation the great thing is that don't we know what the fourth term is yes we do they've given us they're saying it's 2 over 27 
Again, we ask ourselves, do we know what the third term is? Yes, it is. They've given us in the question, they are saying the third term is 2 over 9. Let's replace this. We'll say, okay, so equation number 1, especially equation 1, will be uh, first term multiplied by, multiplied by r to the power 2 is equal to the third term, which is 2 over 9. 2 over 9 that would be the the third term the third expression so the the first this, this will will be our first equation the second equation will be the first term to the power r r to the power 3 which is this one here is equal to the fourth term they are saying it is 2 over 27 that is equation number two so if you've done simultaneous equations and stuff like that it will be very easy for you to solve for for, 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 for this because you can uh, you can replace one with the other and then you, you, you just solve it directly from there so we have two equations okay I'm just going to put this on the um, the next board so the two equations that we have we have number one we have um, we start from here we just have a to the power 2 is equal to 2 over 9 is equals to 2 over 9 that is this gives us 2 over 9 okay, that is a 9 and then that is 2 over 9 and then for the second equation let me just put it here we have a to the power 3 uh, that is 3 is equal to uh, 27 uh, 2 over 27 2 over 27 so it will be 2 over 27 so now uh, we can find one expression here uh, and then equ equal it with the other so if you look at this this equation here what we have and um, let's try to if we rewrite it like this uh, a to the power r squared okay multiply this by r is equals to 2 over 20 7. Now this is the same thing. This is the same thing as this only that I've just factorized We did factorization in uh, algebra that the goodness of algebra makes us do things pretty easier So I factorize uh, I've just pull it off the bracket and leave uh, this here That is also a concept in algebra. So this is just the same as this one only that I pulled off an R here now why have I done this? Because I want this to be r squared, which is the same as r squared as this one. I want this to be equal to that. Okay, so that I can replace this thing uh, with what this one equals to, which is 2 over 9. Okay, so which means the equation becomes um, uh, this thing, I can replace it with, 2 over 9 because it's the same as this these things are just the same which is equals to 2 over 9 so it will be 2 over 9 multiplied by r is equals to 2 over 27 and then I can divide both sides by 2 over 9 okay so meaning if I divide here by 2 over 9 these are going to cancel and I remain with uh, r now good trick of uh, way of dividing fraction you just write 2 over 27 and then you say you say divide by okay you you put a dot there uh, divide by uh, 2 over 9 so that you don't, doesn't confuse you that much so this can be written as 2 over 27 times this can go up and the other guy can come down times 9 over 2 okay so immediately you can see these two cancel uh, 1 and these two cancel there so it will be 9 times 9 times 1 27 times 1 so I'm going to bring this on top here and then so this is going to be 
9 times 1 is 9 over 27. So R is equal to 9 over 27, of which you can divide. I think 9 can go into 27 three times. 9 there is 1. 9 to 27 is 3. Wonderful. So we've just found R to be 1 over 3. That is the common ratio is equal to 1 over 3. So if we know what R is uh, 1 over 3, then you can find A. So just come here for us to, to solve A. So we say, okay, we can get the, the formula, the first formula, which is A R squared is equals to 2 over 9. And the question is, can we, can we, can we find, uh, that is R squared is equals to 2 over 9. Now that we know what R is, we can easily find what A is because uh, this will be R squared. We can divide it into this. So we can just say, we can just say A is equals to 2 over 9. Uh, divide this by uh, R squared. Okay, that is R squared. Now R squared is the same as uh, we can say this is the same as uh, 2 over 9 times uh, r oh let me put it again 2 over 9 times 1 over r squared because we're dividing it's the same as multiplying the reciprocal or multiplying with this one comes with over 1 because this is over 1 so you can put 1 on top comes down and this changes the sign so the sign is going to change here all right so this means that uh, we can now replace r squared so what is r squared r squared uh, is 1 over 3 so this can uh, let's just put it here so you can say r squared uh, 1 over r squared is the same as 1 over 1 over 3 squared because we said r is equals to uh, 1 over 3 so this uh, if you find the reciprocal of this one is same as 1 times 1 over 2 to the uh, 2 to the power 1 squared and over 3 uh, 3 squared okay so that gives us uh, this is 1 over 1 over 9 okay this is 1 over 9 which is I'm just solving what is down here is this one here this is what I'm solving only okay and then if you find the reciprocal because you're dividing this into one you're going to have nine okay so which is going to be uh, this one here 